there, the twins couldn't go out because they were underage. We right. all went to the club, we drank, we turned up. It was a few times that I went out with the other girls and the twins weren't there and we had a great time. Yeah. But it was just kind of like when we were all in a big group or whenever we all got around each other, Lauren found a way to kind of, I'm not gonna say single me out because I don't want to make it seem like I'm trying to play the victim. Well. I just felt like... Did you really believe that, or did you feel like they were peasants? Because that's what you guys call them repeatedly. Yeah. I honestly didn't start calling them peasants until the house became divided, or until... Because they they always want to say, oh, y'all feel like y'all better than everybody, y'all feel like y'all better than this person. I don't feel like I'm better than nobody, Tanisha. I've been taking care of myself since I was 17. Right. My mother left me when I was in high school. I'm like, school. nobody ain't better than nobody, so ain't really, nobody right? better than nobody, really. because guess what? Every single day, I gotta put my pants on one leg at a time, just like everybody else. I okay. bleed blood just like the next person. Right. I gotta get up and go to work I and make money right. and, and take care right. of myself. Just like the next person. Exactly. I just so happy. Well, why did you act like that around Wait, the twins, Wait, let me so. finish. Wait, why? Just, just let me finish. But I'm comfortable with who I am because it's taken me a lot. I've gone through a lot, and I've been through a lot of in my life. So I'm comfortable in my own skin, and I accept myself. So if you can't accept me for who I am and the qualities that I have, you can love me or you can leave me. Okay. I don't make no apologies for it, right. and it is what it is. Well, you know what? Why don't we check out your history in the house and how it all went south for you? Check out this craziness. Me and the twins have decided that we're stealing the limo and we're leaving the peasants behind. They don't deserve to even ride in the same limo with us, so they can, like, walk or take a cab. <laughs> Wanna go that bad. Done. Done. That pisses me off. This is the straw that break the camel's back. I am so over y'all thinking that y'all could pull stuff like that and be untouchable. So guess what? This is war time. They want war, let's give it to them. Dumbass bitches are gonna stay right there. Y'all seen us walking outside, idiots. Y'all, you'll be kidding me. <gasps> Everybody, line up. Line up. <laughs> Bitches got their hair braided. They had on fighting clothes like they was mother ready to squab. I was wearing that to go out. <laughs> All of your most precious items, the only things that you guys even care about, are now floating around in our beautiful stew of water and condiments. That's a fifteen. That's a fifteen thousand dollar price. That probably costs more than the car y'all hoes drive. She shouldn't have brought that back. Crazy. Well, real, I ain't bringing my Celine. You can see. Up. She shouldn't have brought that. But she shouldn't have brought it though. She shouldn't have brought it. But it doesn't matter. It wasn't your to touch. It wasn't yours to touch, so it doesn't matter. Hold on, I'm watching me. I'm watching me. Hold on, I want to watch me. Touch me! I promise! She ain't about that life, fake-ass bitches. Catch you wasn't about that life because you had to hit me from the side. Really, bitch? If you wanted to fight me, Cat, you could have fought... Let's go right now, then. Stand up. No, no, wait, wait. It's just nothing.